had to walk upstairs. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being silly, but I think I'm actually kind of dorky. Anyway, all right, friends, we are going to keep on keeping on with our fractions and multiplying fractions by whole numbers and all that fun stuff. All right, so we've been talking about different strategies, tools, and we worked on the area model for all the bars and number lines and how to figure this out. So remember yesterday we had fractions that were greater than one. So we had seven fifths, okay? So now it's kind of the same thing. So we had seven times one fifth, right? Right. Now, instead of decomposing, you know, instead of having seven fifths, we're gonna have the seven times one fifth. We're taking a step out. We're not decomposing anything. We are going to figure these out using our bars and our number lines. All right, friends? All right, friends. Fraction greater than one. Let's do it. First one, three times two fifths. Okay. I got, where's my, where's my marker? Here it is. All right. I have three two fifths, right? So I've got two fifths plus two fifths plus two fifths. I said I wasn't going to decompose, but I decided this is a good visual. All right. Now, let's model it, babies. I need three of my bars. Bless you, bless you, equals. We don't know. All right. I have three, because I have three groups, right? Right? And I'm splitting my bars into fives. Come on, I hate these weird numbers. It's hard for me to split them even. That look good, y'all? Am I all even and stacked freaky freaky? Eh, not bad. Okay. Alright, how many do I have used up in each one of these? Look at my numerator. Look at my numerator. Two. So two fifths. Two fifths. Two fifths. All right. Now let's squish them together. Let's combine them, darlings. Okay, okay. to be roommates. And I got fifths because that's my denominator four. All right, now, here's something a little different. We were just moving one slice yesterday, right? Now we have two dudes in each. All right, so we are moving two guys each time. All right, so I got them. He's moved. Check. Let's move these two guys. Check. Let's move these two guys. Oh, there's only one more room left in this house. So I got one guy fixing to move. Check. But I still have this guy left over. Okay. Well, we just messed up his house and he's moved. All right. These guys move, these guys move, one of these guys move, right? This guy still needs to move. Bye bye. Check. What do I end up with, baby dolls? I have one whole and then one fifth, right? Right. So, one and one fifth. So, three times two fifths, or two fifths plus 
two fifths plus two fifths is equal to one and one fifth. So I got one, one fifth. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, number nine. This one's gonna be a little bit different as well because we're moving two guys instead of one guy. Okay, there's my number line. Start at zero. All right. Splitting into what? Roots. jumps but we're not jumping by one fifths are we no we're jumping by two fifths all right so I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna go to two fifths okay I didn't go to one fifth because this isn't one fifth this is two fifths so I gotta go to two fifths that's one jump right two more jumps because I got to do three jumps. Now I'm going to jump another two fifths. One fifth to two fifths. So that's going to put me at four fifths, right? That's my second jump. Now I got to do one more jump of two fifths. One fifth to two fifths. That's my third jump -a -roo. Okay? Now, I crossed the threshold, the magic number of one, right here, didn't I? Okay, so I know I've got one. Yep. How much further did I go once I passed one? I went one more fifth, right? Because five fifths, jumping to six fifths, is one fifth. One fifth. So using my number line, I come up with the same answer. One and one fifth. Okay? Same process we did yesterday, except a little bit different. We're not jumping by ones, we're jumping by twos or threes or whatever my numerator is. Alright? Let's go to look at the next one. I need this guy and I need this guy. Alright, friends, I have four times. Two thirds which is the same as two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds, right? Those are the same thing. Four groups of two-thirds. One, two, three, four, two-thirds, okay? Let's model. How many bars do I need? I need four bars because I have to represent two thirds four times. All right, we're in fourths. Ha, oh, this one's easy for me to. I say easy and then look, I'm at the great good line. That was a little better. All right. So I have my four bars. How many pieces am I shading in each bar? Two. I'm going to let it tie. And two fourths. Two fourths. Two fourths. Two fourths. All right. So two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths equals let's find out all right buds y'all gotta pack it up move it together combine it everybody there's your new house 
All right, let's get ready to move some people, y'all. I'm gonna be little. All right, let's move these two guys. So I got one, two guys. One, two guys. Check, they moved. I got one, two guys. One, two guys. Check, they moved. Oh, I have a hole right here. I still got these guys that need to move. Uh oh, what does that mean? I mean, I need another ball park. They need another house so they can move in together. We want to be roommates, they're in college. Now these two guys gotta move. They moved. These two guys gotta move. They moved. All right. We've got everybody combined into their new college dorm here, roommates. What did I end up with? Got a hole there, and I've got a hole there. So I've got one hole and one hole put them bad boys together, it's two. All right, so four times two. Do y'all see what I just did? I put these into fourths and not thirds. Well, we're gonna go with it. There we go, let's roll on. So four times two fourths <laughs> is the same as two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths. All right, well, we modeled on here. Two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths plus two fourths equals two. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay, number line time. Different way, friends. We okay. Number line. Start at zero, and I'm in the fourths. Even though it's supposed to be thirds. All right. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourth. Yes, Lord have mercy. Four fourths. Four, one, my brain's shutting down. Five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths, ten fourths. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Why did I put these in fourths? Well, because that's my new numerator. <laughs> All right, now, here's the fun jumpy part. How many jumps do I need to make? I need to make four jumps, but what is my numerator? My numerator is two, so each jump is actually gonna have two fourths in it. So I'm starting at zero, correct? My first jump, I gotta do two fourths. All right, so one jump puts me at two fourths, not one fourth, because this is not one fourth, these are two fourths. Okay, I need another jump. This is my second jump. Okay, and I jumped one, two fourths. Oh. I gotta go four jumps, I need two more jumps. Okay, that's my third jumpy. And we got one more. That's my fourth jumpy. Okay, so notice I have one, two fourths, one, two fourths, one, two fourths, one, two fourths in there. Okay, so I've made my four jumps. Where did I end up? I ended up at eight fourths. So I want you to notice something. Four fourths is equivalent to one. Okay? One, two, three, four pieces out of four is being used. Right? 
So that's one. And then, one, two, three, four. I got, ha, 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 ha. I got four more of those, right? So, this eight fourths is equivalent to two. Ha. Ah, equivalent fractions. You see it? So four times two fourths is two. Four times two fourths is two. Okie dokie, friends. All right. I hope I didn't confuse you by my brain just stopped working. I just thought I didn't want to do fourths instead of third. I don't know. Anyway, have fun. We get to do word problems and more. What?